St. Joseph's Feast Day is March 19th, and it's actually a solemnity, which is a higher ranking than a feast day. In other words, it's a fun and important day. There are many Catholic traditions that surround this beautiful day, especially traditions originating in Italy. We are going to take a look at the culture behind these celebrations, and then go over some traditional foods for this feast day. People in Sicily, Italy, Spain, and Poland all make a big deal out of celebrating St. Joseph's Day. It is also a day that is widely celebrated by Italian Americans, especially in New England and also New Orleans. Many of these traditions originate in Sicily, Italy. There was a great famine in Sicily caused by a drought in the Middle Ages, and the people prayed to St. Joseph for relief. These prayers brought on a massive rain that spared their spring crops and believe that this is why St. Joseph celebration is held in March each year. St. Joseph's altar are generally in three steps. This symbolizes the Trinity and also the Holy Family. You can create this effect by stacking boxes or something similar into three steps and then covering it with tablecloth. Our altar is dedicated to St. Joseph, the patriot of domestic and universal church families. This, this is, is the, the flag, flag of Sicily, Sicily where okay. this devotion, devotion began. Period. Palm leaves to remind us about Palm Sunday that is coming soon. The lamb cake is to remind us that we are sheep and God is our shepherd. Fava beans. They were food for cattle, but everyone was considered lucky to have them to eat during times of famine. So they're still considered lucky and a staple for these altars. Shaped breads. Traditionally on St. Joseph's altar, there are symbolic pastries made in the shape of crosses, ladders, staffs, sandals, doves, flowers, fish, hearts, monstrances, chalices, and more. They're decorated with dry fig and are not always edible. It's also traditional to include a variety of fruits and vegetables on the altar. The foods are usually meatless since the feast day falls during Lent. Wine. This originates from the vineyards of Sicily and symbolizes the miracle of Cana. Zeppoli di San Giuseppe are famous traditional pastries eaten on St. Joseph's Feast Day. They are traditionally fried, but there are also baked varieties. They are generally filled with cream and topped with waka and red cherry. More things served on this day or placed on the altar, including pasta, olive oil, olives, dried figs, fish, cakes, cookies, pastries, breads, biscotti, antipasta, and grapes. The lilies are a symbol of purity. The tools remind us that St. Joseph was a carpenter. Breadcrumbs. These symbolize sawdust since St. Joseph was a carpenter.